Uh, so my name's Cody Beckley. Um, I'm originally from a terrible town that I don't even want to name in Saskatchewan. Moved out here to Kelowna um, in 2012, 2011. Like, honestly, sometimes when I think about it, it's, it's a very compassionate sort of understanding thing because I've struggled with it and I grapple with it, but there are other times where I think of bedlam, you know, like a, a, a insane asylum sort of thing. Um, so even as somebody who struggled with it, I still feel that stigma myself. I've never had the opportunity to really hash those sort of thoughts out. Um, it's not talked about very much, but it, it, it almost feels like it shouldn't be talked about in a way. It's, it's something that you kind of hush hush, you know, suck it up, pull your, pull your socks up, loose up your boots and all those other feet related metaphors. So. <laughs> That's, that's what it feels like, is this sort of traditional madman, hoo-ha caveman thing, um, where you're supposed to be the rock, the foundation, the solid structure for the family unit, whatever that, that may be, and you can't display any signs of weakness. I've struggled with depression and, and suicidal thoughts for uh, the decade now, like since my teenage years, but over the last couple years it was very bad. Kept coming back to, um, in my head, was how do I distance people away from me so that if I do disappear, it doesn't hurt anybody. was so anxious and nervous going into work every day that I, I, I was ill multiple times in the morning before I even left the house to go into work. I worked there for 12 months and I lost 60 pounds. So I didn't have that, that medical practitioner to go to and you know keep a dialogue up with, so I was relying on walk-in clinics. And it's very hard to convey what you're feeling, the amount of stress over time to a, a doctor you're going to see for, what, 10 minutes and then they have 200 other people in the lobby. So this guy that I saw, I told him my problems, I told him that I was ill every morning, I told him that I would weep in the shower multiple times a week. He treated it like it was just this thing I was supposed to buck up get past it, and ah, shrug it off. It's not that serious, it's just stress. Uh, just full disclosure, it was medication. I was lucky enough to get a walk-in doctor who was actually a visiting student doctor. Luckily enough, was closer to my age and had less of this built-in societal stigma against mental, mental illness and mental health. That was the, the biggest, noticeable, quickest change. Um, but when I, when I started sharing the exact things that I was feeling to my partner, just letting that out, letting the like, deepest, despair thought that I had out and sharing that with a person close to me. That's what made me realize, just by seeing their reaction, her reaction, that this isn't just a little thing. This is serious, if I'm thinking like this. Don't, don't feel ashamed to actually share, and definitely share. Don't buy into the capital M man, because that's fiction. That's not a real person. And don't, don't try to play into uh, these, these, these roles, really. Um, you can be a man, but you don't have to be a capital M man. Um, part of my, I guess, recovery process, I made a decision to 
be 100% completely transparent and honest with everybody and everything. It's so much less stressful. It's ridiculous what being open and honest does. And I, everybody thinks they're open and honest, but just be, be transparent. I want it to be treated the exact same way as any other sickness. The fact that it isn't visible doesn't mean it's not an actual illness.